about hypothesis. So uh, what is hypothesis? In general term of hypothesis is a claim or statement. So uh, let's understand a little bit more about in general term every day we use this hypothesis. For example, uh, you are working, you are late for the um, you know, work and immediate supervisor asks you why you were late and you said, well, my train was delayed, my bus was delayed and my commute was delayed and therefore I was late so that is your claim that is your claim it can be valid it can be invalid first you try to establish you are right it's true okay so it's true so you said you you were late because your train got delayed now that's your claim you it can be true it can be false there is a way to figure that out but well we're going to talk about hypothesis so let's limit that on right so next i can make another example for example uh you make a crime, right? And of course, you can plead guilty, you can plead not guilty, and obviously, you want to plead not guilty. And if you want to plead not guilty, you say, oh, I didn't make commit, I didn't commit any crime because, uh, you know, so on, so on, so on. So you try to establish that you are innocent, right? So this is called hypothesis. What about you claim you're coming up with? This is called hypothesis. So everyday life, we are using this hypothesis, basically. You have your own hypothesis. Every second, you have a hypothesis statement. Now, let's move into or some more example so the mean IQ score mean IQ score of a mathematics teacher is less than 130 again intelligence quotient is basically you know IQ score is less than 130 so this is just a claim this is just a claim okay this can be right this can be false but first we have to believe that right okay so this is just an hypothesis all right, let's move into another one. The mean weight of a passenger car is 4,000 pounds. Again, this is just a claim. It can be more, it can be less, okay, and so on. So this is just a claim. Mean weight of a passenger car is 4,000 pounds. Let's move into another one. The mean salary for registered nurse and respiratory therapies is $90,000. So this is just an statement this is just a statement so it can be true it can be false or maybe a little bit higher or maybe a little bit lower so in order to figure those out we come up with some kind of um, uh, you know hypothesis testing and of course we have a two branches of hypothesis which is null and alternative hypothesis next video we're going to talk about what is null and what is alternative hypothesis thank you